I was trying to find a good way or an impactful way to bring this story to life, and I was wondering what the best way would be to make this story jump out at you. I think the most impactful way to tell your particular story is to gather the information to make sure you gather all the research and make sure you have the impactful pictures to tell the story. Once you have those three things, the story can really move. I think it should be atomic. Okay, so you're saying it has to be something that hits you right away in order to get their attention. You said that your story is about this high school that was closed and how you got involved in trying to save it. And we talked about turning that into a story about this guy who didn't even go to this high school and decided to get involved in trying to save it. That's kind of an interesting story. Why did he do that? What was your story about? My story was actually about my grandmother and how she, in an attempt to save her son from the gang, she ended up joining a gang and raising like 3,000 boys. That's a good story. What about your story? Well, I started out um, thinking that I was going to put together some photographs for my cousins of old family photographs. And then I noticed that my grandmother had all these pictures of houses. So my story started out being like just like a little history project. And it turned into, why is this woman taking all these pictures of houses? I like that story about the radio, because we were saying like pictures seem to be more important than the audio. But then you said about a story that your parents told you. I remember that my parents always would talk about the radio the same way my children talk about the movies or television. And there was even a time when I think they had fireside chats by one of the presidents, Roosevelt, where the whole family gathered around the fireplace and listened to Roosevelt talk about the interests of the nation. Yes, and you were talking about something today in radio. I was saying how it appears that Podcasting is the evolution of storytelling and radio. And you have, you know, podcasts like there's a show called Serial that is phenomenal. It's doing phenomenal numbers, and people are very interested in uh, these podcasts. You know, they're very impactful stories, and they're short stories. A good story has to have honesty, truth, and a level of vulnerability because we were saying how even to even tell a story there's a level of vulnerability there so to tell a good story you have to give of yourself that that seems like a really good um, guideline you have to be willing to give of yourself to tell a really good story yes right and I guess as far as the honesty is concerned if you feel something within yourself, I guess that makes a story easier to tell yeah. if it's something that bothers you or something that touches you every day of your life. That's why I um, thought that the cause for saving this particular school was a good cause because that's something that affects me every day and um, affected my children at one time and now um, possibly future generations will be affected. Yeah. I don't know. For our little story here, yeah. I think that's a good ending. <laughs>